Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on the arch wall. Um, and at first this might seem a little silly and a little bit too basic, but I have a few reasons as to why. Um, the arch wall uh, uses an edge to, to build itself. And there are some caveats and, and things you need to pay attention to to get a successful wall. So in order to understand, to do the wall first, I thought it'd be a great idea just to do a single line so it doesn't get confused with some of those caveats. So um, let's get started with, with this. Now there is, there is a, uh, a, an accompanying article which I'll, I'll post a link to in the uh, description. And also remember to take a peek at the, uh, at the devs uh, Patreon page. Uh, for Arch, especially uh, Yorick, because I think he spends a good amount of time on this, and you'll be able to see those results in a few minutes. So this is basically the wall we're going to do. It's a block wall, so I'm, you know, I'm not an architect or a builder. Um, I just like figuring out FreeCAD and other programs. <laughs> so basically, the the wall is based on an edge. So I have one edge here, so that we can, you know, keep it simple and focused, and. Um, and uh, basically you select that edge and then use the wall tool. So let's let's go through that and I'll show you how uh, the properties allow you to add and view blocks. So it's, it's fairly simple. So let's start with a new document. Um, but one of the things I'd like to mention though is that you, you, um, it's before you use the arch workbench I'd get it you know I'd work to get a good understanding of the um, of the draft workbench as the arch workbench seemed to work best with that. Now it does use the sketch wires and stuff as well, um, and, but I, you know, I can't really comment on how well it works with that or not. So one of the reasons why I'm, I'm doing just a single, single wire is um, like uh, if you do a rectangle, it doesn't make a wall, it makes a block. <laughs> so, and you know, that might be something that's fixed by the time you try this or not, I don't know. Um, so, but again, I want to make this so it stays applicable. So once you have drawn a line, so you, I don't know if you saw, but uh, let me actually, let me do that again with some better commentary. So I'm going to start out with, um, when, you, when you get into the draft workbench, one of the things that I prefer is, is not the auto view because it confuses me. <laughs> so I'm going to be working from the top. So I navigate to the top and then I check that this is also set to top. Um, with the auto view, when it sets to the auto view, it sets the working plane, which you see here by our grid shows is on the working plane, and the working plane is set to top. So you have a working plane and a view. When it's set to auto, it snaps the working plane to the view whenever you execute a tool, and that's confusing to me. And it was probably just confusing that explanation, but. So at any rate, I'm just going to do a line and I'm working plane is looking down from the top and working on the top. So now I'm going to, working plane is important for arch too, especially like when you're adding windows. So now I'm just going to add the wall and, it, and it's basically that simple. This is a block wall, so I don't think it applies to, um, to like stick framing. So I think this is industrial only, but again, I'm not an architect or a designer, so I, or a builder, so I don't really know. Um, so what we're going to do is, after, once we get the wall, we're going to modify uh, the block height. And I'm in, I'm in America, so I use Imperial. So I'm doing uh, the block. We're going to do a half half a foot high and a foot wide, because that seems good enough. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and so let's let's show the blocks first. So if you show them first, um, once you click off the selection, then it updates it. You'll see this. You know these are just um, oriented directly over over top one another. Um, I'm going to add an offset so that we have strength. I'm going to make the offset half the size of the block. So you can just change these measurements based on your locale and, and the needs. So now now you see we have offset blocks. And something you can notice is it puts a half a block here, and it puts a cap block there. So it um, but these are not based on an uh, a sold size. They're just the remaining height, and it's based on the wall height, which is somewhere in here. Yeah, so it's based on that. So you could you could get an even distribution or not, depending on your block height. Um, so don't think, oh, this is this is the block I can order and I'm good to go. At any rate, um, the other thing I want to do is I want to add mortar. 
So we're going to do a joint, and that's going to be point. So I'm going to do that three quarters of an inch, and you can see I can just type in inch, and it's going to convert it to foot for me, and that adds the mortar. So I mean, it adds space for the mortar. It doesn't actually add mortar, as you can see. You can see blue through there, which is fine. Um, I don't even know how you would add a mortar. That'd be probably com confusing. So yes, you could accomplish this with an array, uh, a block and array, but it's a, it'd be a lot more work. Um, so this has made it easy for you. So in the next video, I'll probably show you how to how to navigate uh, using various wires to make you know a four-sided wall, and I'll show you where, how it doesn't work and how it does work. So if you like these videos, um, I'm trying to do a video every day. I seem to have like a 50% success rate with that. Uh, I'm going to be doing arch for a while because it interests me, and I ran out of part design ideas. <laughs> So if, if there's a series that you really want to see, let me know in the comments. You know, like, uh, you know, I think I'm going to be going through just the different components of FreeCAD one at a time instead of building a model, because uh, this just makes the videos a lot easier. And I think these granular subjects might be more helpful. So make sure you subscribe and click the alarm bell to get notifications of new video. And uh, have a great day.